All right, drive from the Grove Library to the Walmart in Lubbock. I look, I actually walked a path thinking that that's the path to take, but you know, I'm thinking it, I don't want to do it because there's too much bumpity bumpity dippity dippity. I'll take the highway, in fact. This this uh, route to take it right to get you to the highway. And I see a truck approaching. All right, you're going that way. All right, it's a little foggy. I'm a little nervous about that. I should probably jack up the air. I got an air thing. I'm gonna jack that air up just to improve the air quality. The fog. Oh my God. Okay. Yep. Get it back. Okay. And a half mile. Gotcha. Do I take a right on this? It's not a solid line. Oh, that's not easy. Okay, I'm going to... West Texas 2. Alright, um... Yeah, uh, you mark it. <clears throat> I was fairly confident of that, that walk, but... Um, maybe... Maybe this is better. Uh... Okay, I gotta get past here. Does it take a right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into this. Oh, I'm gonna get into this lane in case that guy wants to take a right, and then I'll move back over. Cause I'm certainly getting on. Oh god. Okay. One. All right. I'm trying to time this um, windshield wiper uh, because it's not really too rainy, but that that moisture really collects. All right. The air is clearing out some of this moisture from the fog from the window and this, this is pretty rainy it's like 32 and oh I can imagine how snowy it must be up north if it's raining could be just a cloud over the Lubbock area gotta be careful here night drive night drive careful okay we're going and now that there's such a pile up I'm glad that he's hurried up because I certainly would like to take his lane Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, this turn seems a little soon. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I can't tell. I really can't tell. I can't tell. This looks like it's, okay, it's it. It's certainly it now. Uh, I'm a little more confident. Is there somebody behind me? Probably. Oh no. This could be, a, that scares me. Hmm, what's the speed limit? Oh, I'm getting on to, I'm not getting onto the highway. Oh no, I am, or not. Can that be seen? I oh I see. Okay, there's an angle street. I obey. I obey the one that's like directly at me. Okay, I'm gonna just I'm gonna indicate. I think it's the one that's directly at me. I'm gonna be waiting on that one. The one that's at an angle is for the angle street to my right. It's a little screwy. And then there's no islands in between the lanes so uh, it's just a double yellow line all right you see where these people are going that's the, that's the direction I would go they got the green and in fact it's hard to see that green they actually cover that green up somewhat all right this is mine all right and I'll just uh, take 
take it. I think I take a right, so I want to get in the right lane. Oh no. Turn right, yes. Okay. Uh, ooh, people are pa passing me up. Okay. These people are passing me. All right. Ooh, what? All right. 45. And then it's a right on road. Excellent. There's Walmart. Walmart is visible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. All right. Right lane must turn right. Turn onto the road. Oh, it looks like they get a lot of flooding issues or something. There's a lot of avenues for water. There's a lot of water channels. Ooh, second gear. Bit of a struggle. Uh, you know, I saw... Okay, no, I saw trucks parked here on the Google Maps. Yep, thank you. Oh, the Super Center. Gotcha. Okay, taking a left and lefting it. Now, there's no warnings about overnight parking, so I feel pretty... Oh, I did not see that. Oh, I could use some light, but that's okay. I can live without light. I'll just... I'll just hope for the best that this is a good spot right here. Ha! You can't do that kind of turn in an RV. All right, so everything off. All right, so this Walmart complains. Mm. Supposed to have a FedEx office. Did someone just steal shoes? These are used, and then the box, the box is, it's empty. That is, looks like they took a boot. Sandals for boots? Wow, that's brazen. All right, my yams got really sour. Well, they've been in the pot for maybe three days, I think. Really sour. I added some dried dates with them for that sweet and sour effect. But these, these yams, they got really, they got really sour. I kind of like it. It slows down my eating, at least. Yeah, I bet honey would go good with soured yams. You can eat the yams right away after you cook them. But then you cook too many, you got to toss them in the ferment pot. And then after a few days, they get pretty sour. Throw some honey on them, and it's a good combination. All right, in the uh, outdoor section, check out this. Somebody stole a camp torch ripping it right out I was just back here last night they're right here for 12 somebody just rips it and then I round the corner and look at this they rip open this ice cream thing and eat eat a, eat a little bit they have a bite of it there's still stuff in here this is so brazen these people all right, in this clearance section, check this out. Somebody stole meconazole. I don't know what that is. Vaginal infection. Okay, so I shouldn't be talking, touching this. Yeast infection. Yeast infection. Run me the right way. Somebody got some real problems. Plus, on top of it, the person left this this drink right here. I'm thinking it's probably the same person. And from over here to here, they threw a box of Vagisil. Somebody's got a real itch problem. And they just, this is empty. They threw that over there. And then further down, you got somebody who stole a bunch of pens. Rolling pens. And why is there a glove here? But I hear a lot of grackles from the Walmart parking lot. And they're all over here. Nice treed area. And it's like, all right, this morning I uh, want to, well, the Cabela's opens at nine. I want to go to Cabela's. It's about two miles away from this Walmart. And it's right in between Walmart and the library. So it's like, 
You know, I should probably just... The next library, that is. Then I should probably just drive over. I was thinking I should walk and uh, plot out the distance and stuff. Oh, there's so many grackles. They're competing with uh, the traffic noise. It's kind of entertaining to find the groups, find out where the grackles hang out. This is their night spot, and then their day spot is, is probably more spread out. They maybe concentrate one spot overnight and then spread out during the day. So this Walmart's got a bunch of posts. I don't know if they ever put any kind of uh, chain on, on them, but you can see somebody's just like smack, smack, smack coming around this corner, hitting every post. That had to cause some damage. And some of these posts on the other side have been knocked out. I'm sure there was one around here in between posts. So they resolved to put posts up to keep people off the, the lawn. That didn't work out too well. So these crazy grackles have been hanging out underneath this truck, walking all around underneath it for the past 10 minutes, staring up, just hanging out underneath this truck but not so much now all right so this man is picking walnuts i think come on i have a finger on it picking walnuts i believe off of uh, this tree yeah starting out early he just started and i can see that there's walnuts in the or something in the tree some kind of, some kind of probably nut. All right, so this is the nut that the guy was picking at. I don't know, what's he picking? He grows like this. You open it up and you got this little nut. It's very hard. All right, so I just stepped on it and crushed it very easily. I think it's a walnut. It's a type it's a different taste of a walnut. I think it's because it, I think it's because it's fresher. It's a fresh walnut, so it tastes different. You know, I generally like to bite the skin that's between the nail and the finger, on the ends of these, on the on the sides of the nail. I'm thinking there's probably somebody who's freaky enough to pay people to let him bite that on the ends of uh, their fing their nails too. There's probably somebody out there, because if I enjoy it, there's always somebody out there who's got, like, an obsession over crazy things like that.